Okay guys, this is the finishing portion of the GoPro videos. I did a video about the polarizing lens, I did a video about another lens and the aluminum case. And what you see on top is the Rode Micro Video audio recorder. It also has the like Dead Cat microphone cover on it. And on the back you can see I've kind of got bundled up is the GoPro 3.5 millimeter adapter to the standard uh, USB-C audio input for the GoPro. So I'll be honest, this setup weighs quite a bit, but I'm not hearing any rattling. So with the shotgun mic, you shouldn't pick up any additional, you know, noises or anything. Cause like if I, if I was doing this with the GoPro and not the, the lens turn on. Every time I turn it, you hear, you know, it'd make a terrible noise. So, and I'm recording this with my Samsung Galaxy S8. We did just get a DSLR, but I haven't figured that one out. But that's going to be a different video. So this will probably be the go forward walking around car shows uh, type setup. You know, where I'm trying to pick up audio. If I'm just in the shop, I'll be honest, I'm not sure I'm going to have any of this stuff on here. I'll probably just have the standard GoPro case with the GoPro inside of it because, you know, really, this is, I'm trying to optimize it for external shots, you know, like when I'm walking around a car show or whatnot. But the shotgun mic will probably help, you know, in the shop. But uh, like I said, this weighs quite a bit. I'm just not sure how much I'll be using this, you know, doing projects, getting the microphone into like a greasy, you know, into the motor or whatever I'm, you know, whatever I'm working on. So, but here's an external shot. Let's switch cameras and then go to the GoPro as well as the Rode microphone setup. Okay, guys, I've switched to the GoPro setup. I'm recording it now with the microphone plugged in. I also have the polarizing filter, which we're inside, it's not really gonna help, but when we're outside, it could help cut down on reflection and glare. So I'm just kinda walking around the shop, testing the, sh the shots and the audio. But, so what I'm gonna do is actually walk around the shop, do a little bit of just talking into the camera, and, you know, so I'm walking around, Nothing too crazy. But let's go outside now and just do some more walking around. Okay, as you can see, I'm outside by the truck. Got the shotgun mic turned on. And there's the truck. It's dirty, but it happens. So this is still recording with the microphone plugged in. Got the air conditioner in the background. I'm not sure what you're going to be able to hear, but. I'm also going to turn this around, try to play with the polarizer. Alright, so I've got the polarizer. There you go, polarizer's cutting down on a reflection. But it's pretty much uh, going to be it for the Rode microphone test. Let's uh, go back in the shop and test it without the microphone. Okay guys, I have unplugged the microphone. You might hear it, I'm gonna shake it a little bit. That is actually what's happening is the that stupid GoPro adapter, it's kind of bouncing off the support that the road uh, screws into. It's kind of bouncing off that, so that might make some a little bit of noise, but just walking around, talking, you know, kind of what I normally do around in here, but walking around and you know hopefully this either picks up noise or it doesn't I, I'm not sure I obviously won't find out how the quality of this video is the audio on this video is until we go to post-production and download the video so all right that, I think that's enough walking around the shop of kind of how I normally do my vlog let's go outside I do a little bit of testing out by the air conditioner that's gonna make some noise uh, out by the truck and let's see how this works okay like I was saying 
we're outside again the microphone's not plugged in and I'll go by the, the air conditioner it's probably definitely picking that up but outside yes I need to mow <laughs> but um, there's an external test without the microphone plugged in and guys the other thing you need to remember is I still have that aluminum case on the mic on the GoPro setup if I had just the bare GoPro plastic case I think it would the audio wouldn't be as bad as it is the problem with that aluminum case it's like yes it's got all the openings for the microphone it just sounds awful so I just shot uh, two clips the first being you know with the GoPro with the external case also the exterior mic the the Rode micro microphone plugged in the second shot was just the external the GoPro and the external case like I said there might have been some uh, flopping around of the camera of the adapter or whatever you want to call it so I've gone back to the external microphone plugged in and that's kind of how I'm going to close the video but hopefully this video footage gives you a good comparison of audio setups for your GoPro uh, and how a maybe a typical YouTube auto vlogger would you know use this setup like I was saying the setup is quite heavy the loom case the microphone the adapter that all adds up so if I'm walking around a car show I'd probably be using this setup but if I'm walking around just the shop I don't think I don't know you know I, I'll see how the video is and right now I'm not totally sold on walking around with this in here like if I'm doing car mods and stuff like that I can pretty much tell you I won't be using the this setup but in my opening or closing yeah I could see me switching the camera around and and setting this up just because the audio will be that much better but if uh, the problem that I have with this setup is if I'm trying to get into an engine bay show you a supercharger pulley show you a header swap if I'm under the car you know I don't I don't want to have all this extra stuff I want to get the camera as small as I can and that's probably how I'm gonna keep shooting so hopefully this gives you a good comparison of the tools that I use and how I'm gonna use it you know hopefully it gives you some insight of how maybe you want to do it I don't say the way I do my vlogs are the best but you know it, this is just uh, an example of what you can do with the setups that you have so if you guys like the video give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe Thanks guys and have a great day.